<laughs> Young Santana and a motherfucker in a bottle of the bill with the fuck did it do, dawg? What's going on, y'all? Man, I'm outside as y'all can see. It's warming up outside, bro. I'm in Chicago, bro. What the fuck is you tuning about? Yo, man, uh, I really want to come to y'all, bro. Just to, just to let y'all know, bro, I'm outside now. So y'all gonna get a lot more scenes outside from me talking in the background. Y'all gonna get a lot more traveling shit from me, bro. I'm excited about this year. Cause uh yeah man, I'm going, I'm I'm currently on uh one of the longest streets I've ever been on, by the way, man. Um for guys that don't know about my channel, bro, my channel wasn't ever supposed to be uh you know like semen retention, bro. That's like personal shit. You know what I'm saying? My channel was always gonna be a vlogging channel. It was strictly gonna be for vlogs. But I was like, man, bro, like it's 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 if it, it, the, the 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 second reason why I developed the channel is because before I created this channel, bro, I wasn't ever really on social media, so I didn't really have, um, you know, like uh, kind of like a documented history of who I was leading up to this moment, you know pretty much all throughout my 20s bro I didn't really have a history of, of being online like that so I really wanted to create this channel to, to develop a history for myself and my family bro so my family members can know that like yeah our blood matters bro and you know I'm coming from a background where it's not really preached like that hence my uh you know the, the end of every video is a message I put out there to not only let you guys know that you, you really matter right as men in society today but also to know that like to, to show my family members yeah bro like we matter you know what I'm saying no matter what's being told to us that we, we matter so this is the, the reason why I try to really update you guys on my senior retention journey is simple because I'm only doing bigger numbers like 100 days 200 days 300 days 400 days and uh, yeah bro like that's that's always because the reason why like I'm using big numbers like that is because I'm at the end of my porn addiction you know I was addicted to it back in 2015 you know back in uh, 2014 back in 2013 uh, 2017 2018 is when I really started like okay I gotta consciously do something to change this habit of mine right uh, so yeah, man, that's that's really the reason why I pick 100 plus days at a time. But I'm gonna take the time out right now, bro, because it's such a beautiful day outside. Um, to actually give you guys an update, so far with 200 plus days, bro, 200 plus days of semen retention, and I'm gonna talk about this type of personal topic, right, in the public. <laughs> In the public, bro. Damn, bro. Young Santana, you don't get this shit nowhere else, bro. Straight up. So, yeah, bro. 2,000, I mean, so 200 plus days, man. It's nothing really major because I've, I've committed to taking the oath of strict celibacy. I actually make the conscious, the, the conscious decision to actually uh, say no to sex. And to, den and to deny that part of myself. Consciously took that decision. And if you can hear it in my voice, bro, I really take that shit very serious. So, uh, yeah, man, that's, that's a part of me that I'ma always kinda, it, even like, if once I get really big, like, right, 10,000 plus subscribers, uh, which I am approaching, since we're we're damn near at a thousand, we're probably gonna be over a thousand, you know, sooner than later, which is pretty scary to me. But um, yeah, man. Uh, 
two thousand two hundred plus days, bro. Shit. It's pretty scary at these levels, guys. Simply because uh people don't really know how to under people really don't how to don't know how to reply or to respond to that type of energy. Being 200 plus days on semen retention, willingly. It's, it's a tough journey, guys. Uh, some mornings I wake up and I ask myself, why, why am I doing this shit? Other mornings I wake up and I can't wait to go out in, into the day, right? And this is gonna be the point of this of this particular video. See, when you're not actively having sex with a human being, like right, a female, right? You ultimately are having sex with the world out there in the world, right? You're ultimately uh fucking the world. <laughs> I can't put it any other way. You're literally having sex with the planet. You're literally going out into the world. Cause think about, put this image in your head, right? When you're having sex, intercourse, right? Uh, you're literally going in and you're going out, right? Not to be too graphic, I am in public, but you are going in and out until you reach a climax, right? After the climax, you're pretty much done. Most normal people, right? <laughs> you're pretty much done. That wasn't me when I was in my 20s. I would have sex and I would be cli I would be done and I would still be going even when I wasn't on hard. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I was just doing it just to do it. When when you're when you're having sex, that's think of that that whole act, right? When you when you practice semen retention and you're going out and you're fucking the world, right? You're pretty much doing the same thing, but you're doing it in a grander, more of a macro level, for lack of a better term. When you leave your house and you're going out and you're facing the world, you're literally going out, you're going in, right? You're going in, that's why, that's why like, when I'm waking up and I'm motivated and getting ready to go handle, you know, go and tackle the world, right? I'm like, I'm going in. And then you go out and then you get everything done, ba, 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 ba. Then you come back into the house and you brought back the money. SOS, bring back the money, man. That's what that, that's what a whole bring back the money comes from, by the way. You're going out into the world, you're thrusting in, right? You're charging in, you're walking in, fucking like this and shit, you know, nice and erect, right? Then you're coming back into the house and then you're counting up the cash. You know what I'm talking about. You hang on Uh I ain't kind of right? But uh yeah, you're coming back into the house. And then you're counting and you're breaking, you're breaking bread with yourself, right? You're not masturbating when you get back to the house. You're actually uh, regrouping, getting ready for the next thrust. When it leads to the climax, however, the thing, the thing is when you're, when you're, when you're out and you're pursuing and you're actually uh, retaining, the climax is ultimately the female attraction. When you, when you, it's like the icing on the cake. If you ask me, this is just from my perspective. I'm no expert, guys. I'm just bringing back what I'm, what I'm experiencing, right? Uh, when I'm out there and I'm, I'm getting shit done in, in the, in the world, right? And I'm in Chicago. This is a major city, right? So when I'm out there and I'm handling business, and I come back home, and then the next day, go out and handle business, come back home, regroup, replan everything the next day, boom, go out there the next day, get it done, bop, 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 I'm going and going and going. There's these few times out of the week where it's like, damn, I can't believe she just tried to ask me for my number. 
I can't believe I just got a got a uh, got a compliment from a female. Like that's I don't know. That's kind of how I view it, bro. Like, cause I love females, man. And me taking a oath, me taking a vow of strict celibacy, I'm ultimately swearing off of something that I love. It's like it's like going off of sugar. It's like leaving sugar alone. Which I, I'm eventually gonna have to do, you know? Cause I really wanna get on a natural diet, guys. But um, that's like the ultimate climax you can have as a semen retention, as a as a as somebody that's really taking semen retention serious. So um, yeah, man. That's that's just an update on what's going on. Cause people be like, man, yeah, you took the oath of celibacy. How the fuck are you? How are you like? Handling that that lower nature. How are you fulfilling that side of you that that animalistic side of you? How are you fulfilling that? Every human being desires touch It's almost a it's a necessity, right? We, it's a necessary like we need that How are you fulfilling that and honestly? I don't I don't fulfill that, you know, I, I just keep it I go out into the world and I touch that fucking cash, right? I go out into the world and I shake hands and I get business done. You see what I'm saying? Like that's, I'm literally internalizing my orgasm, if that makes sense. And hell, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, another climax I would say is when you come and bring back the money and you like, damn, I got all this extra cake. Now I can invest it into some undervalued asset. That's really my fucking climax. Now that I'm thinking about it, now that I'm processing, right? Uh, yeah, you're gonna release one way or the other. So, uh, you might as well release your spiritual currency or your, uh, your physical currency, release it into an investment vehicle, right? And guys, the thing is, is when you're, when you're on semen retention, bro, you gotta think about the people that are handling high finance, high business, high fashion, high banking, high finance. Like, bro, you really think Elon Musk is somewhere masturbating somewhere? Like, you really think Jeff Bezos is somewhere fucking masturbating and having sex every fucking day? Even though these guys do have access to that type of power, but you really think they just spending time on that type of shit? That's what I'll be thinking about when I'll be like, damn, bro, today I can just, fuck, I can just give it all up. Fuck it, I'm about to give it up. Fuck it. I could easily, I'll be thinking about this, I'll be like, damn, but now, Warren Buffett probably damn sure not, not master. This guy, these people, you know what I'm saying? Think of like 50 Cent, I don't know, think of the blacks. Like, if you wanna think about the blacks, you think 50 Cent somewhere, goddamn? Jacking off and shit like bro So I'll be thinking about that shit bro uh, But yeah man 200 plus days bro I'm about to reach that 300 day mark man Fuck Shit is hard bro Shit is fucking tough And I love it Because every day is a fucking fight You know what I'm saying And every day I fucking win Every day you don't masturbate you fucking win that's kind of how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, guys, all about La Manzanati, man. Young Santana, man. Fun is you talking about, bro? We in there, bit, bro. Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, man. Can you feel it, bro? Can you fucking feel it, bro? Yeah. That's how it's supposed to be done, bro. In this life, you are all you have, but you're more than enough. If you haven't heard it from anywhere else, you heard it from me first. La Manzanati.